Do you ever wonder how mathematicians know how to solve really tough problems? They talk with other mathematicians and have strategies they use to help them. Mathematicians know that one of the secrets to solving problems is... They construct and critique arguments. Mathematicians construct arguments by explaining their work with words, pictures, or by talking to others. Mathematicians also critique arguments by listening to others' ideas and deciding why they agree or disagree with their work. They add on to others' ideas or politely question what they hear or see to make sense of the work. Palm View School is getting a new playground. The school has asked students to share their ideas for the playground? The playground will be divided into four equal sections. Jacob and John divided the playground differently. Who is correct? Why? What I heard you say is that we need to think about dividing up space on a playground. The question we need to answer is if John or Jacob split the playground into four equal sections correctly. The important information is the fact that there are four sections and that they need to be equal. For this task, we need to construct and critique arguments. To construct arguments in this task, we can each solve the task and then analyze each other's work to see if we agree or disagree with each other. Mathematicians prove their thinking using examples. The examples are evidence of their reasoning. This means they show their work in different ways. This helps them prove to themselves and others that their answer is correct. They use math tools, draw pictures, write equations, and share their thinking. First, I looked at Jacob's work. I think he made fourths because each section is equal. Then, I noticed that John's rectangle did not have equal sized sections. I redrew his rectangle so it would be correct. What I heard you say is that Jacob made fourths correctly because he made equal parts, but John did not. You found a way to correct John's work. First, I compared Jacob's work to John's. Like you said, John's sections are different from Jacob's. Then, I realized John did not make equal sections, so I determined Jacob was correct. I made a model of John's work and cut each section out so I could place one on top of another. This proved that the sections are not equal sizes. What I heard you say is that John made a mistake because the sections are not the same size. He made a model to show that the sections were different sizes. How are our strategies similar or different? We both looked at their work and tried to find equal sections. You drew a picture to support your reasoning, and I made a model. How did we prove that our answers are correct? I drew a picture and you made a model as examples to show why John's work was incorrect and why Jacob's was correct. Do we agree or disagree with each other's problem-solving process? Even though we looked at the problem differently, we both agreed that Jacob's picture showed fourths, while John's did not. We noticed that making a model or drawing a picture was a good way to show why. How did we construct and critique arguments to help us solve the task? We constructed arguments by comparing the ways John and Jacob drew four parts. We knew that each of the four sections needed to be the same size. We critiqued arguments by noticing that John made a mistake, while Jacob drew his rectangle correctly. Remember, mathematicians prove their thinking by using examples and evidence, 
listening carefully to what others have to say without interrupting, rephrasing what they have heard, sharing whether they agree or disagree, using evidence to support their arguments. Now it's your turn to solve problems together by constructing and critiquing arguments. Thank you.